Hi everybody, welcome back to Cap at Home and Gold Detroit. I'm Miss Van and today we are going to be making upcycled plastic bottle birdhouses. Before we get too far into this project, I just want to shout out a quick thank you to our sponsors General Motors and the Community Education Commission of the City of Detroit. Thank you so much for uh, sponsoring these videos and making them available to our viewers at no cost to them. Alright, so uh, we're just going to go over what we need. So I have here uh, my work surface, which is this piece of cardboard that I lay over my table just to protect everything. Um, I have a couple of different colors of paint. I've got over here, I've got three buckets of cool water to clean my paint brushes off in between using them. A couple pieces of paper towel. I have of course my empty pop bottle which I've already sanitized. And the cap which we'll need and I'll show you why. I've got some scissors, a utility knife, here's my paint brushes. Um, I have a permanent marker and I have some um, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. So first off, we are going to hold on to our bottle here and using the cap, we're going to trace some half circles and this bottle has already got some like markings on it so I'm just going to use those as kind of a guide but the half circles help everything kind of fit together later and I'm just going to make sure that they all line up as best as I can and just go ahead and trim that in a moment but first I'm going to trace out the spots that we're going to cut it's always nice to kind of see it ahead of time so you end up making lines that add or that match up and there we go all right and then next I'm going to uh, make the window of the birdhouse where the bird is actually going to come in to the feeder And let's see, what else do I need? The line that I'm going to cut. So I've already removed my label. Alright, so I'm going to cut out this middle section here. I'm just going to take my utility knife and I'm going to very carefully start to cut around the half circles that I just traced. Very careful with the utility knife here. Make sure that I actually cut through the plastic, but not anything else. Right. So that kind of gets me started. I'm going to make sure this is locked in place and I'm going to set it off to the side and at this point I can use my scissors to start cutting out the shapes that I need here. So I'm just going to cut along that half circle.
and by pre-cutting those parallel lines, it just makes it easier to get in between the half circles. And you don't have to turn your scissors in any weird angles. So here's the top, and then I'm just going to kind of fix some of these edges, and that's all I really need to do there. And now I'm going to just cut out this section here along this line. these little pieces of plastic in the recycling bin and then I just need to cut out this window here so I'm going to grab my utility knife again and I'm just going to start this cut here Now that I have all of my pieces cut out, I'm going to use some paper towel and just get rid of all of the extra moisture that is on the inside of my plastic bottle here. And then I have a second piece of paper towel. It is still nice and dry, and I'm going to use that to. I'm going to put a little bit of the rubbing alcohol on here, and that will help me move, remove all of the permanent marker from my plastic. Make sure that it won't show through any of the paint. So I know you want to get to the painting part because that is, in my opinion, the most fun part of this project is decorating. And I'm going to use my uh, colors of acrylic paint to decorate my birdhouse. But before we do that, um, I just want to make sure that I have some holes poked 
I have this one that I already did through the top of the bottle cap. And then I'm also going to need to do one through the bottom of this plastic bottle. So I'm just going to make sure that it's right about the middle here. And I'm just going to use one end of the scissors. I'll just press. careful at this part. I'm going to make sure that the hole is big enough so that your string will fit through it, but not so big that the bird seed escapes later. So that looks pretty good. All right, now the fun part, we're going to decorate, yay! So I'm just going to take some little trays here. paint and I've got my paint brush here I'm just going to make some fun shapes on this birdhouse. I'm going to paint it a little bit more abstractly than I did the last one. Just have fun with it. You can paint it however you want when you do your project. But I just want to make sure that I cover up all of the clear plastic with paint. Just making some fun shapes. Kind of like this reminds me a little bit of a daisy at the bottom here.
right. And I think I still gotta wipe some of the black paint off of or the permanent marker off of here, off the top of the birdhouse. Some more fun shapes on it. And if you don't like how you can still kind of see through the paint, you can always come back later and add a second or a third coat so you have more of an opacity rather than a transparency. But it is totally up to you. So I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to pick a different color. So I've got three buckets of cold water. And just making sure that you clean your brush off between colors just makes it that much easier when you're all done to clean everything up. And then you can be really thorough and use your paper towel to make sure that you don't have any extra paint on your brush. Unless, of course, you want to blend your colors. <laughs> and then you can do that instead. You really you can enjoy this painting process as much as you want and just get whatever kind of detail I've got more of an abstract design in mind for this one.
so relaxing to paint. Is my favorite part about these fun art projects is that they're very fun and relaxing and you get to use your creative muscles to just make something that you want to make. or that is useful, or that makes a nice gift for someone. Or that just expresses the way that you feel. One is just about finished, so now I'm going to finish the other part of this birdhouse. I'm going to paint the top, just kind of a similar abstract pattern. I clearly am thinking about yellow daisies today. I think I got pretty much just the right amount of red for this project. I think I'm going to use all of the red paint that I put in my little paint dish and it's going to be just about perfect. That's fun. All right, and I'm going to use a different brush I have here just to add some little details with this paint here that I have. So I'm just going to add maybe some outlines to my interesting shapes. Looks like a ladybug too. That's the fun thing about non-representational art is after you're done you can have a whole lot of fun trying to figure out <laughs> what it is that you painted. The world may never know. So after I get this last little bit of detail, I'm going to add some string to my birdhouse so that I can hang it up if I want to.
Okay. So, for that, I want kind of a rough idea of how tall my birdhouse is. I'm not really going to measure it. And because I made these little half circles, that kind of helps hold the lid here in place on the top of the birdhouse. So I'm just going to take my string here and kind of make sure that it's a couple of inches taller than the birdhouse itself. And then I'm going to take one end and feed it through the little hole that I made at the bottom. So I got that. I'm going to feed it up through the bottom of the bottle and through the lid. I'm going to set that on top. And then it's got to go through the cap. And then we'll screw that back on. And I just need to tie a little knot at the bottom here. And I think I'm going to double knot it just to make sure that the knot won't slip back through. Maybe triple knot it. I want one big knot at the bottom. There we go. And then another knot on the top. And you can fill it with bird seed once it dries and feed a bird. And that is my project for today. We made a birdhouse out of a plastic pot bottle. Um, if you like this project and you have images of yourself working on a project, you can email it to us at cap at collegeforcreativestudies.edu. Um, we'd love to add you to our social media and feature you on our page anytime that you have projects or images of yourself working. Thank you so much. You can join us back here live on Facebook or afterwards you can watch our videos on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, see you next week.